I'm not on fire. What the heck? Oh man, I'm fireproof. That is freaking awesome. Up everybody, this is Validol. I'm back again with another episode of Conan Exiles. We are on the Dental Wolf servers. I've got something similar to what we did last time. Yes, we're summoning. We're gonna work on the. We're gonna work on re religion again. This time it's gonna be Yog. Yay! Oh, and I didn't grab no steel because I don't need steel, don't I? Nope, I need bone to make this Yog cleaver. All right, so I'm gonna grab that. Make that cleaver. I'm gonna put a just a smidge of bones on me. Probably enough to make one of that. And we are going to go off and get some soul essences. Yarg's chosen here is the thrall that I got. Let me show you. I got this thrall at the summoning place. Now, there's only two places I know where you can get a Yogg Priest, hopefully a named one. One's right here at the summoning place. Another one is right over here near, near the Tower of Bats. It's called the Cursed Way. There's always a priest there. And, uh, yeah, it Getting the named one is the thing. There's always a priest at the Cursed Way. But where the priest is sometimes, I've found named alchemists. You guys saw that one episode where I got that named alchemist. So yeah, that was the predicament I had with that. So, yep. We are going to go do that. And I am still leveling up these two girls. They're only level 13. So they still got some ways to go. All right, so, oh, where's my sword? Oh, right there. And let's put that right there. I will see y'all in a little bit when we are ready to upgrade this altar. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Can I get in there? Yep. Oh, God, I'm on fire. Yep, that happens. Hold it. It just says stop healing. I'm not on fire. What the heck? Oh, man, I'm fireproof. That is freaking awesome. Look at that. I was even healing. I'm healing in this fire. <laughs> hey, guys, enough goofing off. I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, everybody. As you can tell, we've got uh, about 140 pieces. Yeah, 140 pieces of purified f flesh. This is hollowed meat. You can eat this. It increases your health by 40 and your stamina by 14. It does not expire. That's the cool thing about it. Uh, the unblemished human meat, which is what you get with that lower jawbone thing that I have, that does expire. I left a little bit just in case. So, uh... Oh, crud. You know what I gotta do? I've gotta learn. <laughs> I've gotta learn the Yogg stuff. <laughs> I completely forgot. I didn't learn all that. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I've learned it. Now I can upgrade it. Oh, look at that. I can make a Yoggite crudgel. I'm gonna go ahead and make that. It takes five of those meats. I'm glad I didn't cook them all up. I'm going to take that out, and we're going to, I need to go get some brick, regular brick, regular brick for this, so I can upgrade it. All right, so let's go ahead and, oh, I got some meat. This is what the crudgel is. Oh, that's pretty cool with the red on it. Uh, let's see, hollowed weapon. It's a stunned weapon. So... Okay, it's not a concussive, but it's a stun. It deals 15 damage, 17% armor penetration. And it's not really that good, you know, especially for us at endgame. But still. Uh, 
Alright, my stone, I think, is brick is right down here. And is anybody... Anybody else playing a game that's actually get this glitch also? I am eating my feast, and it's the hearty feast, and it increases my follower damage by 12%. It's not giving me the buff. It just says I'm sated. Nope, oh, not enough room. Alright, uh... Let's take the harder brick out, because I don't need that just yet. And let's go ahead and upgrade that. And I will bring you back when it is done upgrading. This is the before look. And we're coming up on the after. Where are you? There's the after look. We now got a tree growing in the back behind it and everything. The well's got a bit bigger. It's now got a platform going around it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Uh... We can now make this stuff, and I need some light padding to make this. So I will go grab some light padding real fast and bring you all back. All right, I've got some light padding. I'm going to make a bone spear and armor. That way we can check it out. And then after all that's done, we're going to, it's going to start upgrading to the tier three. Now, you guys can pretty much imagine what this stuff looks like. Come here, Sira. Let's, uh, take your clothes off. And have you try this on. Yeah, it pretty much looks just like, uh, the rest of the Defari armor. I really don't like the way the mask looks. I can understand it. I like the way the rest of the armor looks, especially on the woman. All right, that's what it looks like. That ain't too bad. I mean, like I said, it's the regular Defari armor. And let's check out this bone spear. Now, this is supposed to be the spear. Oh, crap. I threw that. Uh. Oh, I can get it. Whew. Wasn't sure if I could pick that up. That's what it looks like. It's starting to get dark, so let's get this done. That's pretty cool. R2 throws it. R1 does that. What does L2 do? L2 is just a kick. Alright, so you can just swing it about or throw it like a spear. That's not too shabby. All right, and three is almost done. I'll bring you back when it is. Oh, we got skulls hanging on too here. That's pretty cool. Skulls hanging from the trees. Pretty good for Halloween right there. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you all. The stats on the armor. Armor follower damage 10% and concussive 12% on the bracers. And concussive 12% yet. All of it is the same. It's light armor. But it's all follower damage. So wearing this can increase your follower damage 50% and concussive damage by 70%. That's pretty good right there if you ask me. And there's number three. Better looking platform. We got a, the trees. Got the grew around a skull. Who the hell has a skull that big? All right. Let's see. I've got... Uh, I do have enough zeals. Oh, we can make one statue now. And let me go ahead and put that in there. And we can 
upgrade our make a blessed yog cleaver now. Oh, and we got a tenderizer. Oh, let me go grab some more uh, star metal real fast before we make the thing. I didn't even realize that. All right, there's a tenderizer. Uh, and nothing else. Okay. Well, with that, we'll go ahead and we'll start the God Token. And it's going to take a whole, all those eels. There'll leave three of them. And all the meat's gone. I guess we used it all up. All right, so we got the tenderizer. Uh, health damage, 44. Armor penetration, 25%. It's got a shield smash ability. Don't seem half bad. Probably one-hander and everything. I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of this. I'm going to be over-encumbered now. What's this tenderizer look like? Whoop. Looks like a makeshift mace with uh, bones sticking out for spikes and leather holding it together. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, we got the God token being made right now. I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff up. All right, guys, let's, uh, while that god token's being made, let's go ahead and check out the, oh my god, this is itty bitty. I think that's the way it goes. Uh, that's a little weird. That's not a very good statue. Come on now. There we go. I think it goes like that. Uh, that's good enough, I think. We got uh, Mitra, Ymir. It's just a skeleton, skeletal decoration. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's different. I like things that are different that decorate my house. All right, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and wait for that uh, God token now. I'll see you all in a little bit. And we're almost there. Well, it was nice uh, knowing you, Yogg's Chosen, but uh, I I'm going to need the coin yeah so it's nothing against you it's just uh, yeah I want the coin I really need the coin I, I want the coin I want to get this over with yay Yog is the easiest religion there is to and the, the food for it isn't that bad either the hollowed food but Yogg is probably the easiest one to farm up. You know, granted, I mean, I'm not having trouble with any of them. But I do like Yogg and I like Beatra because it gives you a beneficial food to eat. I wish all the religions actually did something like that. Almost there. Almost there. Uh, 
I'm hoping soon I can actually do the purge level six. And I like to jump right into seven and maybe eight right after that too. But I don't know. Way five went. And leveling up these cannibal brutes, it just went by so fast for them. It was like one clear Super Maru, and they were 18. You know, killed a couple more, then they got to 20. These guys, these two right here, two went through it two times. They were only level 17, both of them. Oh, it disappeared. Uh, I get distracted so easily. And there's the God token. All right, shall we see what the God of Yogg is like? There we go. Oh, ho, ho. That looks pretty cool right there. Yog, give me your power. Make me strong. And maybe a giant too. I think it'd be really cool if you grant me this wish. I want to be able to kill anyone that comes on this map. That way no one ever messes with me. So grant me this power, Yog. I'll flash you if you give me that power. I know you like boobs, Yog. Oh, he does like. Oh, what the heck is this? What the? Oh, that is so cool how they got him coming up out of the ground too. I am a squid. I am a flying octopus with my tongue out. He's a pervert. Oh, yes, he is. He likes to use that tongue. Oh, uh, that world boss. Oh, that world boss is there. That's our one. Whoa. So he goes, wow, he even crushes resources. That's one hit for that scorpion boss. Looks like he's sh flying and shitting. He's got the really bad diarrhea or something. Yog, or, Yog might be sick, y'all. So, four hits to kill the scorpion. For a three skull world boss. I wonder if we could get to uh, that other boss we killed before. See how many hits it takes to, for that. Oh. That, I think it killed a rock nose. Did that kill a rock nose? Oh, look at that. It's damaging him. Holy crap. I doubt I can fit through here, but let's try. Oh, I got another one coming up. It's fine. You want to die too? There you go. You're dead. His shit kills stuff. Yogg's poop. His diarrhea kill stuff. That is pretty crazy. That's some deadly shit right there. Oh my god, it even destroys the rocks down below too. I saw that. Oh. 
I can actually get a little bit further. He's here. And I'm flying. One hit. Oh, Yogg's not very strong. But I... The poop! Should deal quite a bit of damage too, right? Yeah? Let's shit on him. Yeah? Poop is hurting him. I know it's not poop, but it's still funny. Yogg's just shitting all the time. Yogg's so full of shit. Look at that. Half health already at two hits. Of course, this time I'm directly over him. Of course, I can take that path too, it looks like. Oh, he's dead. So about four hits and continuous shitting on him. That is freaking crazy. You know what? Just for sh shits and giggles. Let's go say hi to the Mitra shrine. There's a dragon over here and I was going to go after it. It's a three skull red dragon. Pretty much like the red mother. Except it's not the Red Mother. It doesn't have the same drops. I don't think it drops anything, really. We've got three minutes left. There's the dragon. Red Dragon! Feel my shit! Oh wow, it deals damage fast. That's uh pretty cool. How fast this deal of damage and everything. Is that dragon dead already? Actually I think that dragon's dead. That dragon's got to be dead. It's gone. All right. Well, y'all, that was Yogg. <laughs> uh, the diarrhea god. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and get these two following me again. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you all enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more of the content really does help me out, and I appreciate it so much. You guys are awesome. Bye.